Harmonic functions are the three families of chords within a given key which convey distinct musical feelings and enable harmonic direction and grammar in tonal music, thanks to physics. Huh? Let's take the key of C major as an example. If we start building chords using these notes, we'll get the following harmonies. Each of these chords have a particular sound in relations to C major, the central chord of the key, the most important one, basically. So these particular chord sounds in relations to the key can be categorized in one of these three harmonic functions, tonic, dominant, and subdominant. Tonic gives a sense of rest, conclusion in the piece, and the feeling of being at home. It is the function where one can stay the longest without upsetting the listener, although it might get boring quite quickly. Anyway, these three chords are one C major, of course, the tonic and central chord, three minor, E minor, and six minor, A minor. The main reason being, other than the empirical similar feeling that they all share, is because they all contain the note E, which is the note that defines that this is a C major tonality and not some sort of C minor. So what you need to remember is tonic is stable and resolved. Moving on. Dominant is the most tense of the three functions. Its literal purpose or function is to create the expectation of resolution back to the tonic. Ending a song here would be highly upsetting for the listener. After all, we're all humans and ultimately we don't enjoy unresolved tension. So why these two chords? Because tritone. Both chords have the note F, the fourth degree, and B, the leading tone of the C major scale, which is the infamous tritone, the most dissonant interval of music. These two notes aren't present in the one chord, and most importantly, this dissonant interval wants to collapse back into this nice major third, or the notes C and E, which bring us back to the tonic function of the key, inducing a strong sense of gravitational pull between these two functions thanks to voice leading. And subdominant. Subdominant is the first step out of home and slightly raises the element of excitement in the piece. This function is also the middle ground between the tonic and dominant functions. It can resolve peacefully back to the tonic, creating the amen peaceful cadence, or it can function as a stepping stone or a nice smooth transition towards the dominant. Chords in this function sound more tense than tonic chords because they all have the note F, which, as we saw previously, wants to resolve to E, present in all tonic chords. And it's less tense than the dominant function because leading tone lack thereof, hence tritone lack thereof. So, because voice leading, its sense of gravitational pull towards the tonic is less strong than in the dominant function. To recap, the three harmonic functions are tonic, most stable, Dominant, least stable, subdominant, middle ground. Clear? No? Okay, far fetched analogy time. Tonic is as if you were at home. Everything is resolved and at rest. That's it. In dominant world, it's as if you were in a building that is on fire. The situation requires an urgent, urgent resolution. And subdominant is as if you were at, let's say, your office. It's fine, you can chill a bit, but you won't want to stay there forever. You'll want to go somewhere else eventually, either back home or towards more drama. Okay, that was it. With functional harmony, we can play with these musical feelings to create excitement, drive, direction, and musical grammar in a piece of music. Here's a little example. The next time you listen to music, try to identify the feelings and overall movements from tonic to dominance or tension and release. So why does this happen? Let's talk overtones. When we hit the note C, we're not only hearing that note, but a number of overtones. The first four overtones after this fundamental are C, G, C, and E. Looks familiar? 
Yes, the very ingredients for the tonic center of any key can be found in the harmonic series of its fundamental. So basically underlining the tonic chord. And, of course, this very important C to G or tonic to dominance perfect fifth relationship. So basically, in tonal music, the subdominant and dominant functions are musical feelings of distance to this natural central chord present in the harmonic series, which is this simple mathematical acoustic phenomenon which describes this wavelength ratio and its accordance with matter to create order and harmony. Furthermore, if we look closely, we can see that the first two accidentals, or note that in this example aren't in the key of C major, are B flat and F sharp. This is not an accident. The note B flat, along with the previous notes of the harmonic series, gives us the ingredients to create the chord C7, whose tritone will want to resolve to F, the subdominant. Regarding F sharp, when paired with D and C, will create the chord D7, which will want to resolve to G, the dominant. Reinforcing, or in technical terms, tonicizing this trinity of functions. Last thing, these accidentals, which allow for these two chords, can also work to put into motion the circle of fifths, giving hints for modulations to the adjacent keys, in this case F, G, and so on. So, to recap, there are three harmonic functions in tonal music, tonic, dominant, and subdominant, all of which have different feelings to create motion and grammar in music, because tension and release, because voice leading, because harmonic series, because math, because universe. A universe that creates complexity from simplicity and naturally gives us the musical tools to create musical motion, both within a key and towards outside neighboring ones. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe to this channel for more creatively explained videos.